Greetings fellow YouTubers! How you doing? Irv Lindsay here. Um, starting a new series today. I'm going to call it Irv's Garden. Uh, this is, I'm just going to do a monthly update for anyone that's interested. Maybe nobody. and That's okay. Uh, you guys know I run a variety channel, which means that you're liable to see anything when you're watching my channel. I'll do a lot of different things and uh, I'm going to be showing my gardening because I want to, and it sounds fun. It's what I want to do, and so hey, here we go. So this is the February update, which means that uh, I am indoors because I'm going to plant some seedlings. I'm going to show this is the way I've done seedlings the last two years. I try to do my own seed, my own plants from seed because it's just cheaper that way. Uh, so uh, let's get going. I'll show you my process when I plant my seeds. I generally plant them inside these um, these little pellet containers here, all right. And uh, <clears throat> these particular ones are Jiffy Windowsill Greenhouse. Now you can get all there's several different companies make stuff like this, and they come with these these little lids that go on them. But they're basically they're basically these little these little pellet things. All right, and this is just a, this is basically compressed peat moss, from what I understand, and uh, it's in a little little some a little bit of netting, and we're going to add water to it, and all of these are going to go whoop, and they're going to quadruple in size. I want to talk about seeds while we're waiting for that while we're waiting for the pellets to rise. <laughs> it's kind of like bread. <laughs> um, I've got three varieties of dwarf vegetables that I want to plant that I inherited from my buddy Rick before he died. He was real into heirloom seeds. He's real into dwarf varieties. He talked a lot about them. Um, I'm going to plant all these varieties in some large containers, some very large pots. Uh, one of them is micro tom tomatoes, but uh, and. Both those and the Mexican mini watermelons, which are actually taste like cucumbers from what I understand, about the size of a large grape. I'm going to also try planting these mini bell peppers. I don't know anything about them. Can't hurt. Um, I've got the seeds. Rick was real into heirloom seeds. I haven't looked up to see if they're heirloom or not. Um, uh, Alright, so some other stuff that I have. I'm going to plant, plant some spinach. I'm just going to try my hand at spinach. Anyway, last year I planted cucumbers. Um, they were store-bought plants. They did okay. But I'm going to go ahead and try planting these. These are some, they're called uh, Market More 76. These are supposed to be er, um, heirloom. I'm also going to plant some uh, Blue Lake Bush Beans. These are also heirloom. And then my favorite, uh, my favorite variety of tomato that seems to work quite well in this my garden here, and that's the early girl tomatoes. These are set it and forget it tomatoes, guys. They they put out deeper than usual roots, and they find their own water source underground, and then you don't really have to water them. So this is the stuff I'm planting. I've also got one more thing. Loyalist, the loyalist of loyal fans will know. I had a couple of watermelon. Uh, watermelons from my garden last year and they were Jubilee watermelons which means they are heirloom and they put out true seeds so Irv saved some seeds from his watermelons from last year so these this will be a unique experience for me uh, let's go let's go back over here to the pellets and see how they're doing don't be like me follow the directions put one and three quarters cup of water in here they'll absorb it and uh, you'll end up with these nice, big, fluffy uh, things of peat moss. This is what they look like afterwards. You can see it's really expanded and gotten big. And I think these have gotten about as big as they're going to get. I think they've absorbed about as much water as they're going to absorb. Here we are the next day. You can see my two ceiling trays here. You can also see my minifigure collection in the background that has absolutely nothing to do with it whatsoever. And also you can see what I'm going to use for a grow light here. I'll turn that on before it's all said and done. Um, so these turned out quite well. My heating mat is on. Each of the two trays is it got greenhouse effect going quite nicely. Plenty of water vapor in there. Uh, maybe just a little too much water, but as soon as the seedlings sprout, if they sprout, some of the seeds may be 
um, right on the verge of not being viable anymore. Um, and that's okay. Uh, and as soon as that happens, I'll tip the, I'll just crack the the top of it just just like like so, just a little bit to let some of the moisture out. Uh, once the, all the seeds have sprouted, I'll completely take those off, tuck them underneath, or put put them aside, and we won't use them again until next year or the next time we use the trays for seedlings. That's um, that's pretty much it. I also have a little junk towel here for when I get spills or drips or whatever and I have to have wipe up. Hopefully the wife won't miss this. Hopefully she won't notice it gone. Uh, shh, nobody tell her. This is actually a daylight frequency fluorescent bulb. And uh, you guys have seen this before because I like to use this when I'm filming videos indoors because it does give the illusion of outside light. Um, it's warming up, that's why it just kind of changed color there while I was talking. But uh, what it does is it provides this very nice, bright um, daylight frequency. I love this, I love this bulb. But you can see, if I were to kind of back away, and kind of, you can see up here, which is the lighting that I was using before, and then if I move down, you can see that it is a lot brighter, a lot bluer, and from what I'm reading online, blue light is what you want to use. That's it for the February garden update. We got the seeds planted. We got them in the seed trays. We got our grow light. We got our we got our warming mat. We'll see what happens. I'll check back in in about another month. Look for another uh, another video in the Herbs Garden series. If I have any extra, if the video series takes off, if people look like they're interested in it, I'll do more than one update a month, but I don't think any, anything more than that will be necessary. And it'll be fun for me to go back and take a look at it after the season is over and I can kind of look through my adventures and document my problems, what went wrong. I'll be sure to include that as well. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, my main channel page, youtube.com slash irvtv. I'm also on Facebook, facebook.com slash irvlindsay. You'll find me on Twitter, uh, at, at irvlindsay. You'll also find me on Instagram, and uh, on Instagram, I believe I'm irvtv. I'm on all those to look me up. I'm not as active on Twitter and Instagram, not lately, but you'll definitely find me on Facebook. I'm there quite a bit. Thanks for watching, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your week. Uh, keep fighting a good fight, and I'll see you in the next video.